this article is from yahoo.com and it's titled Goldman just dropped a housing market forecast for 2024 and sees high home prices, high mortgage rates, and the lowest number of existing home sales since the early 90s. If that doesn't fire people up, if that doesn't open some eyes, I don't know what will. You know, and then you have once again, are you all seeing this tiny home stuff going on? All this promotion. I just keep getting bombarded with this stuff. You get articles like this. We'll get back to the um, <laughs> to the Goldman article. Don't worry. I want to just drop this on your table real early in the video. This article from uh, sun.com. There were two of them. I just keep seeing these things. It says extra space. Home Depot is selling a two thousand dollar tiny home with a wraparound loft. Oh, oh, that's so nice. And then when you look at it, I mean, this can't be real. There's no way this can't be real. I refuse to believe this is reality, even though it is. But it doesn't matter. Sounds good. I'm going to refuse that this is to believe this is reality. They have Home Depot picture on the left. Then on the right, here's their tiny home. It's a shed. Dramatic pause. Yeah, it's a shed. Oh, no, wait, because you might think like I'm thinking like who's really trying to live in this type of this is not the american dream like this is people want somewhere real to live not in a shed oh but wait there's another article don't worry we'll get back to the goldman article just let me just vibe with me for a minute here this is also from the sun.com i this, i don't know if they're like paying people to say this because they're trying to push these tiny home uh, this tiny home agenda it says fixer upper I converted my shed into a tiny home for just $5,000. It's not a tiny home. Like you just said, it's your shed. So, and I managed to stay well below budget thanks to my design choices. What? Wait, well, it's, it's a shed. This is getting nuts. And they have it here. They're, they're showing this thing. There are shelves. And this person really tried. It's, it just blows my mind. Like this is insanity right now, what, what I'm witnessing. And yes, they're trying to take advantage of the terrible, terrible housing market. But I, I rather deal with the terrible housing market than deal with <laughs> deal with this tiny, this tiny, almost a tiny shed, this tiny home thing. These are not homes. This is a lie. Says Heather is a divorcee who lives in her. Con what? I thought, wait, didn't they just say that she made a tiny home outside her own home? Then. If she has a home, why would she live in a tiny shed if she, like, I'm confused. Maybe I read it wrong. She, she lives in her converted 10 by 11 shed. Oh, okay. It's not her home. It, it was her mom, her mother's home. Wait, and 10 by 11 shed on her mom's land. Okay. 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 I, I, I mean, it's confusing. Doesn't even matter. We're having some fun reading this stuff because we're going down this crazy rabbit hole. Let's go back to Goldman and find out about the real housing market, which is in shambles. But let's read this. So <laughs> Goldman just dropped housing <laughs> housing market report. One thing has been true about home prices since the redacted began. They just keep going up across the country. In 2023, this has persisted even as mortgage rates more than doubled from the 3% range to slightly 8% and as buying activity collapsed. In July, uh, Fortune's then housing editor and current Resi Club co-founder Lance Lambert summed up Goldman Sachs' perspective on the market. Four more years, four more years of gridlock. This is what he's saying. So, and that was even before the higher for longer rate scenario sank uh, uh, sank in a quarter later goldman is back with an updated forecast and it doesn't see an ounce of relief in sight for buyers although it says the quote sharpest declines in housing activity and prices are now long behind us unquote it says but for but higher for longer rates higher home prices and depressed activity Check, check, check. Next year, for one, Goldman Sachs sees, quote, sustained higher mortgage rates, unquote, having their most pronounced impact on housing turnover. According to its latest 2024 housing outlook released on Sunday, nearly all borrowers have mortgage rates below the current market rate, which means they have almost no reason to move. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They, if they're wise, they won't. 
right? It says that further tightened supply in an already underbuilt housing market. In other words, we've seen the lock-in effect at 7% rates nearly all year. Now it's time to see it at 8% mortgage rates on the outlook for mortgage rates staying at their over two decade high of eight percent strategists including chief economist jan hotsius uh quote expect mortgage rates to remain elevated for the foreseeable future dipping to just under seven percent by the end of next year things are going to get insane folks don't believe these fake reports they're putting out here i'm telling you right now i'm calling it fake where they say um it says economy this is from bloomberg right this is one from bloomberg it says the u.s economy that's why i do my face like that when you know i'm about to cover something that i think is really really ignorant u.s economy grew <laughs> at 4.9 percent pace last quarter fastest since 2021 oh wait why do they what do they equate with this growth consumer spending jumped at four percent rate wait a minute wait come on now see and this is why i say these things are they're fake they're they're, they're not they're manipulating information they know this is bloomberg they have to know they saw the reports come out saying from the top economists and top researchers and financial experts saying that people were living off of their credit cards and then we got word that oh the information was coming out now that all these people were maxing out their credit cards so now credit obviously the, that was going to slow down but here's what happened at the same time that we got word that and this is what they say that people were ma were maxed out in their credit cards um that's when holiday season is beginning to roll in, right? And so people, you know, you start they start getting all that overtime, September, October time periods, all that extra overtime, mandatory overtime, mandates, whatever you want to call them. And so that's starting to happen. So they're 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 doing that. Some companies mandate you, some some people are doing voluntary overtime to get more capital to spend for the holidays to try to keep things the same. So what they're doing as people are doing that, and I think. I'm going to go out on a limb and say some people did voluntary overtime, even in the summertime to prepare for the fall in the winter uh, holiday seasons. Um, it, just like you see stores were putting out uh, Christmas decorations super early. They said, forget everything else. We're going to put out Christmas, forget Halloween and Thanksgiving. We're putting out Christmas decorations. So. I think all parties involved were getting an early start. So then you have this extra money flowing. It gives the illusion that there's growth when that's just illusory. Uh, it gives the illusion that the people have capital when they really don't. I mean, listen, they don't have money in their savings accounts. We saw that with the M2 money charts. That's number one. Number two, we saw the, the data come out that said that they maxed out their credit cards. That's two. So then it's where like, where's this other capital coming? Wage Wage growth has slowed down. Now, what people were hopping from job to job, that's another thing to take into account. So to counteract the people hopping from job to job, because they were hopping from this job to that job to get paid more, the, the some of these jobs, when it comes to hiring people that clearly their resumes have a job hopper tendency, they've been paying people less. So not only wage growth slowed, some companies have begun paying people less than what they paid them before. So things are starting to go backwards with a lot of companies. They're keeping it real quiet, but you can find those articles very easily. So I'm keeping all this in mind. And so 2024 looks like it's going to be an absolutely insane year uh, news wise. I mean, I think a lot of you out there are probably well positioned. You're, you're wise. You're, you know how to save capitals. This is not financial advice. You know how to save capital. Uh, you know how to live, uh, uh humbly and in, in balance. So I don't think you'll have any problems whatsoever, but I mean, the rest of the people that are not, you know, well balanced and privy to this information. Oh my word. 2024 is going to be a crazy time. So now that you have that information, people, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe. But until next time, Let's get to the money.